Welcome back to the Real Estate Rat Pack Radio Show with Chris, Joe, and Rob. The crew is taking your calls, so dial in at 1 800 808 5548. Welcome back to the Real Estate Rat Pack Show. You know, Joe's in the house, Chris in the house, and Rob is on the phone. Rob, how you doing, buddy? I'm doing great. How are you all this morning? Well, probably not as good as you, way out there in a great state of California, having a good time, drinking margaritas and enjoying that weather, huh? He's rat packing well, in California. It was uh, mid-80s when I stepped off the plane yesterday, so it was a you know automatic 15-degree relief. <laughs> so it, was, it was pretty nice. But, you know, our time's coming, and I always say, you know, we have that hostile summer to keep out all the weak ones. So That is uh, true. Uh, definitely a Houstonian for, for the duration. Anyway, I've listened to the first segment. It was terrific. I'm, I'm ready to lift my house with her. <laughs> well, <laughs> She's awesome. well, thank you, Mr. Rob. <laughs> she is awesome. Well, I, I love I love the enthusiasm. And, uh, and I uh, uh, for our for Danny Frank, who's part of our Prudential family, I uh, was doing a closing for him the other day, and he was because he was in California, and we did a kind of a bond program for a buyer who bought a low $200,000 home. And this is set up to for the fire police and teachers. And it was pretty amazing to watch how simple this thing was. It was a first time home buyer. She got a 10,000 and some odd dollar grant. And what it is, you keep this house for uh, seven years. Mm -hmm. And of course you meet your obligations and the grant is forgiven. And I thought, wow, what a powerful program it is to get people, and especially these profession, into a home. And they bought up in that humble area, kind of where you are, Joe. And I thought, this is oh, really cool. terrific. It's something that we probably should uh, – I think we have a whole show around that in the future. But I thought it might be worth talking about. You know, Millie probably does, does – I know does a lot of first She is chomping at buyers. the bit to comment, Absolutely. Rob. Absolutely. <laughs> you know, and it was a great Chris intro. Chris is holding her back right now. Because <laughs> one of the things we were saying is that – And yes. best of all <laughs> – Chris Kelso did the loan. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> Very cool. One of the things that you brought on, you know, Rob, is you actually invited Millie, obviously, to be uh, Rat Pack today. And, yes. you know, one of the things that we're talking about, and we talked about this, you know, already in the first segment, is first time and first time home buyers, new home buyers, first time home listers, I think sure. we talked about as well. By the way, for all those who are listening, we have both Teresa Kennedy and we have Millie in here. Millie, I don't want to chop up your last name. How do you <laughs> say that, by the way? Uh, I have it as Kamendiner. That in German or Kammerdiner in English. Kammerdiner in English. Okay. <laughs> I have the Spanish thing. I, I just always call her Millie. Do. It's simpler. <laughs> Millie K. For, Millie, K. Know. Millie K. <laughs> that yes. is correct. Millie K. Millie. I like that. I'm totally rolling with that from now on. And, you, know, <laughs> and, you know, and Millie K., she's with new, newhomeprograms.com. Correct. You know, and one of the things that we, you know, a great segue into this, Rob, is, you know, sort of the next thing that when, when an individual gets out there and they actually find or say, you know, I want to either engage in the process of buying a new mm -hmm. home or I want to engage the process of listing my home and buying a new home, yeah. the first thing they really have to do is then do what? Get a pre-approval. Get, get a pre-approval. That is correct. And they don't know that. The first thing that they do, actually, it's get online. Hence the name, newhomeprograms.com. Because especially in this heat, we're talking about heat. Nobody wants to be out there. I know that the air conditioning is all great and dandy, but then the gas prices go up. So... I thank God for my husband because he thought about this many, 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 many years ago when the Internet wasn't that hot. So newhomeprograms.com was live since 2004. Wow. And we were able to rip that, you know, what he saw then right now that, you know, the media is, you know, the social media is hot. And so our name, newhomeprograms.com, if you're looking for down payment assistance, if you don't understand where to start, you know, if you, you, you just know you need a home, you can no longer stay where you're at, or you have to list your home because kids are out of the house, then, you know, we are the service that is going to hand walk you from the start to finish. And Rob, you were correct. Not only in Humble, but anywhere in Texas, the government can provide for your down payment up to 5% of the price of the house and at a, at a lot rate. And that is anywhere in Texas. If you go within the city limits, okay, of Houston, you can get up to 19500 In certain pockets in Houston, you can get up to $30,000, okay? And so, yeah, it is available out there. And Teresa did say something earlier today that it was very important. If you are a real estate agent 
Okay, you have to be knowledgeable. You have to be the source of the source. So if you don't understand, if you just know that you want to help people, but you need to know how to help these people. You need to go where to go because sometimes not everybody is as knowledgeable as Chris that, you know, these loan officers may not know. And so you have to kind of guide them where to go. And so that's why New Home Programs agents are well-round realtors. Yeah, and, you and, know, and Millie, in that vein, though, you know, I... I, I don't know that everybody knows uh, that, you know, you're not restricted. When those programs first came out, it was a lot for redeveloping those lots that the city owned inside the loop. And they're using Correct. that program again. It was for, for firemen, policemen, and teachers. And now it's expanded, and, and I don't know that everybody knows that. And kind of talk about it, maybe, Chris, maybe you can talk about this also. Is that what's the qualification to, to be able to get a, a grant like such as that? Absolutely. Um, you're gonna you're gonna hear lenders, and you correct me if I'm wrong. That they're gonna say we can have you know we can start loans at 580 mid score. That's your middle score. You have three scores: sure. TransUnion, Equifax, and Experience. <laughs> and you know that. Hello, Joe. But uh-huh. um, you know, in that confusion, <laughs> those lenders I, I, I are. Conf- I, Joe I know. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. Right. <laughs> those those lenders confuse the consumer out there because in order to qualify for these programs, you have to have at least a 640 middle score, okay? And so once you have, and that, I always tell this to my guys, you know, having a 640 credit score is like having a passport. If you're going to go overseas, you know that you need to have your passport. You still got to buy your ticket. You got to, you have to ask for time off work, and then you got to get there. So having that score is just your, your step into into the process. So having the score is exciting, but you have to have two year work experience right. in, in history. She's Ver- doing your segment for you, Chris. Yeah. I'm fine with that. <laughs> Verific- <laughs> Hello, verification of rent and employment. So the, if if you if That's you awesome. work we, we talked we talked about somebody that yes. you know didn't have a job and wanted to have a, 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 yes. a mortgage. And if you don't have a job, well we're gonna pray for you so that we can, you know, find you. <laughs> really, we'll lay hands on you. I, 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 I job can. search service. <laughs> but you know, to, to talk about what you're talking about, yeah. you're right. You know, one of the things I tell everybody is if you're if you're out there and a lender tells you, oh, we have a 580 program, run. Absolutely. Because let me tell you, if you well, had a 580 and could fit within that program, you wouldn't have a 580 number correct. one. Correct. You, you well, know. you can have a 580, but it's only on beach pr- b- property in Arizona. That is correct. <laughs> you know. And so, you know, Joe, you know and, and, and so that's number one. Number two is that's actually one of the stipulations. It, yeah. it, one of the stipulations in Arizona, right? <laughs> yeah. um, but number two is also is uh, in, in the great thing. There's a lot of these programs out there. Yeah. But remember also, not everybody qualifies for them. Correct. And the reason why is it, it's associated with debt to income ratio. Correct. It, sometimes your income is too high to qualify for the programs. Some some areas are specific to where you're looking at buying. Some are family oriented. Right. You know, one to two families versus four to six members in the family has different requirements on regards income to income. Limit, right. And so and then it also depends on the program which you're going to underwrite it under the baseline. Because sometimes, you know, if you're doing a VA loan, for example, mm-hmm. guess what? A, a, a one of those programs sometimes isn't even necessary at that point. Because guess what? You're already getting 100% financing yeah. if you're disabled. USDA alone will be a good USDA in your rural development areas. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, you know, so there's a lot of things, you know, and as you mentioned right there, New Home Programs walks them through a lot of those processes Absolutely. right there and what they can qualify for on the financing side. Absolutely. Chris, we, if, oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Sorry. If you don't, if you don't know finances, and, and you know this, Joe, if you, you know, in order to, to sell a home, it's not about, yes, it is about the house. But it is about knowing the finances to make sure that that homeowner stays there for however year amount of the year that he desires to be there. You know, we were in trouble a couple of years ago with all these foreclosures and short sales because people didn't know what they were doing. And there was, sad to say, realtors that weren't really uh, helping the people out there. I, I would agree. And, you know, one of the things we talk about is, you know, you want to make sure you engage. And we talked about this at the beginning. In a, with a specialist, and more importantly, you want to be able to engage with an individual who knows what they're talking about, Absolutely. whether it be a realtor or it be a financial individual or anything of the services in between. Why? Because if you're not, you're just going to go through the process. We see too many people. I, I get every week somebody come to me and says, Chris, I need you to take over this loan because I was told this. And guess what? You know, Unfortunately, they were told bad information to mm-hmm. begin with. And, you, mm-hmm. and, and the part of the process – is re-educating them in regards to that. You know, and one of the things we've got right now, we actually have another caller calling in, Jackie in Houston. Jackie, how are you doing? Doing fine, thank you. Thank you very much for calling to the show. I hear you have a question for us. I do, and it's going to sound a little stupid, but no I such just thing. to know exactly what is a bad credit score. 
Um, and of course, what can one do about a bad credit score? Joe, that goes directly to you. I'll take that one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, in, in the in the lending or specifically in the the real estate world, Millie hit on it. Six forty is the magic number that most realtors are looking for. Uh, there's lenders out there that can do below that six twenty, six hundred stuff. Each step that you go down in, in 20 point increments, it gets harder and harder. Uh, once you pass over into the 500 zone, uh, most lenders at that point are, are telling you they, they can't get it done. Um, as Chris indicated, there 580s. There's stuff out there uh, that they tell you can get done at 580, but what happens is that there's so many other conditions on top of it that it just becomes impossible. So in the real estate world, the the below 600, that's where you're really in trouble credit score wise. Um, we're going to be coming up on a break, and so the next segment, I think we're going to jump in and start talking about what can be done about that because there is absolutely stuff that you can do to help you out. There's simple things when you're close, when you're in that 600 zone, 620 zone. Mm -hmm. There's some simple things that you're going to do to address improving it in the short term, and then we'll talk about some long-term strategies as well. So below 600, that's where you're in trouble. And the thing is, if I may, before you get into a loan, you want to get to that 640 because if you're at press of time, you know, you want to make sure sure that you have enough money to do that because you're going to have to come up at least with $10,000 in on reserves and down payment assistance because it's not going to be effective cost effective if you have the time to work on your credit and be able to um, you know to get into your home comfortably then that will be the best best advice so you know I would just Give a shout out to our realtors and newhomeprograms.com. Mike McKee, our newest addition, he's our cameraman today. <laughs> and I just want, I had to do this. I just want to say, Corey, we miss you. And this is the first time I'm doing a show without him. So Aww. I hope that he's proud. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Well, you know, Jackie, and, and remember, still listen to the show because the next segment coming up, we're going to be talking all about credit, how to improve credit, and what sort of what goes on in that process. Hopefully this will answer some of the questions for you. It does. And I just want to let y'all know that the show helps a lot because sometimes, you know, we are afraid to actually even ask the questions because we're so embarrassed about our credit or we yeah. think people are going to think we're bad people because we have bad credit. So the show is yeah. really in informative and sometimes, you know, you guys really give us the answers without us asking. So thank you very much. Likewise, awesome. Jackie. Thank well, you so thank much Thank you for the very call. much. Thank Appreciate you having me on board today. For all those, we're up against a break right now. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Well, 